Right, hiya everyone, welcome to the first topic in the relationships uh, unit of National 5. This is our kind of last unit, so going well. Now, hopefully, we're used to the, the flip learning by now, so we sh should be used to what we're looking for and what we're going to do. Just a quick aside this topic, equations and equations, actually, in terms of new information, there is only one bit of new information that's going to come in the third video. So, what I'm going to do in that four revision in particular, I'm just going to go through examples. You might like to get the examples down in your notes uh, just as we go through, maybe give them a wee try at the start as well. But uh, it's up to you whether you're doing that for revision ones, but it's certainly in the next two slides. All the examples are just going to be going into your notes because there is actually very little in terms of new material here. Okay, so I'm just going to look at four or five examples. Looking at solving equations, the theory is going to stay the same as you have seen it forever. Uh, you've probably seen these equations in first year, if not before. Now you're looking to find out what x is. To do that, you want to cancel things out so that you are just got x equals and then a number at the end. So the first thing we're going to, we're going to subtract 3 from there and there, and then 1 from each side, which is going to leave us with 5x equals to 35. Then cancel out that times by 5 there. We're going to divide by 5, divide by 5, which leaves us with the final answer of x equals 7. Okay, now I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. That should be straightforward. That is National 4 stuff right in the middle of National 4. Here's example two, very similar. Now, your problem here is your x's are separated. So I'm going to cancel out that 6x there so that all my x's are together. So I'm going to subtract 6x from there, subtract 6x from there. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x. That's all right. That equals 14. Uh, then, the next thing I need to do is divide by negative 4 to get rid of that multiply by negative 4 and that's going to leave me x is equal to negative 14 over 4. Now I want you to notice two things here. Firstly the negative is in front of the fraction, that's where it should stay, but also I've left that as a fraction I haven't calculated the decimal, even though for this one it's quite nice because it's not always nice, whereas fractions are always exact. The one thing I am going to do though is I'm going to take that 14 over 4 away and simplify that so it's 7 over 2. So x is equal to negative 7 over 2. So nothing complicated there either. Example 3, slightly more complicated. We're going to take away the 2x so we've got our x's together. We're going to add 8 so we've got our numbers all together. 7x minus 2x is 5x, then it's 0 equals 0 and 26. Divide by 5, divide by 5, so x is equal to 26 over 5. Okay, it does not simplify, there we go. Number 4, again, all bang in national 4. Only thing we've added in here is brackets, so we can take the brackets out straight away, so multiply there and there, and then there and there. The plus 10 is not in the bracket, so it doesn't get multiplied. So that's going to give me 3x plus 21 is equal to 4x minus 12, and then the plus 10 at the end, and then 3x plus 21 is equal to 4x, and then that negative 12 plus 10 gives you negative 2. And then we can do a very similar thing to what we've done before. Take away 21, take away 21 take away 4x, take away 4x, so that gives me negative x there, that's 0 equals 0 minus 23, and then divide by negative 1, or just cancel the negatives on both sides, same thing going on, and x is going to equal 23. Okay, now those are the four revision questions I've got for national 4 level stuff, or level 4 level stuff, depending on what year you're in. Uh, I'm going to sneak in another example here because it's quite simple, uh, or relatively simple once you get it going. And I'm uh, just going to show another way they can kind of chuck in a little bit of National 5 work with breaking brackets with a National 4 level solving equations. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll work at the side just now to get x plus 3 all squared. We know that's x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 which when we multiply out with our rainbows, 
gives us x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, which gives us x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then same goes. Let's do x minus 1, x plus 4. Okay, so that's the right hand side. Rainbows again is equal to x squared plus 4x minus x. Minus 4, sorry, we're doing a mistake there. Minus 4, which is x squared plus 3x minus 4. Okay, so having broken those brackets, I can create my new equation. So x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now, the reason this is a more complicated equation, or slightly more complicated anyway, is that it's a trinomial on both sides. You've got an x squared there. But because you've got an x squared on both sides, if you subtract an x squared from both sides, that's you doing the same thing to both sides, so it remains balanced, and that'll cancel out all your x squareds. So what you'll be left with is 6x plus 9 is equal to 3x minus 4, which, by the way, the ring is national 4. So we do our working again, take away 9, take away 9, take away 3x, take away 3x, it's going to leave us with 3x equals negative 13, divide by 3, divide by 3, so x is equal to negative 13 over 3. Okay, that's you. Now there's nothing really that new in there, there's maybe a couple of reminders that you need from before, uh, but really it's all about getting used to working with equations again and perhaps maybe in national four you didn't really work with the fractions on the right hand side too much but that is the last four revision there's five questions varying in difficulty it starts off really easy gets up to the ones with quadratics uh, pause the video give them a wee try for me i'll put the answers up in a second right thank you very much that's you cheers